Pedro, pleasure to be here to, with you today. Once again, we are at the San Moritz Chairman's Retreat, in the Global Chairman's Retreat. And we have been talking all day long about dif different kind of aspects. Uh, what kind of topic that uh, you heard here that is in your mind right now? Anything that you consider that's a takeaway or not takeaway, but something for you to, to remember? Thank you, Gustavo. My pleasure to be here again. Um, well, I think in an environment very difficult, as usual, we are get used to say every year that we are uh, living in difficult times. Um, nowadays, with two wars going on, and we never know, there was a topic about China today, and of course that is an uncertainty this year, a part of the American elections. Um, but I would say that the, the main thing, and usually, as you know, in real estate, many times people are used to be quite unbalanced in the sense that there is a trend and every goes on the same way and then they are a little bit big back, is the issue regarding offices. And the point is, with the pandemic, everybody has to went working from home. Mm -hmm. Then due to that, and when was the time to go back, many companies said that because it's possible to work remote, implement options that everybody work or most of the people work remote mm -hmm. and and so big cities are are having face problems with with offices and nowadays we are facing a very unbalanced situation where from one time you have san francisco that is almost an empty city and companies have difficult to bring workers back to office on the other hand for example paris uh, paris uh, da, uh, CBD rents have reached 1,000 euros per square meter, which wow. everybody thought that it was impossible to reach any time. And La Defense is also facing some problems. And so I think this is a, a really a trend that is difficult to understand where we are going to arrive to become normal again. Mm -hmm. um, and and it's the, the main issue because many people, as you know, and investors, lenders, says that office is the new retail but then after sometimes if you check on retail and check in office and send that uh, logistic is too expensive etc you don't invest anymore in absolutely. real estate and on the other hand we know that absolutely. prices are rising absolutely i remember not long ago in the same forum uh, people would be very skeptical about hospitality and today it was voted as the second most interesting asset class after database uh, and we're just talking about uh, an article that you read on Forbes, talking about top five cities for Americans to visit or to, to live. live, to live. Uh, is, is tourism growing even further in Portugal, do you think? I think not only tourism is improving further. And so um, the, the last week was a, a, a number by the government that they already reached this uh, in 2023, what they are expected to reach in 2027, but also Portugal is becoming, um, I would say, a new place to live, not only older generations. While 20 years ago, we are like the Florida of Europe, nowadays, due to um, digital nomads, etc., and also tech companies, they are coming to Portugal to, to run a little bit out of the war on the eastern side of Europe, but they still are in Europe. And from the other side, they run a little bit out of the problems on South and North America. And so this Forbes was a, 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 a news last, last day. Yes, I, I read that. And it was a survey also that said that the first country where Americans would like to live would be Portugal, outside the United States. And so as we are a very small country, that brings the, the, the prices rising up very quickly, especially on residential, because, I mean... Being a small country, when you have someone br coming out from it's Brazil right, yeah. or US that have 150 or 200 million people, just one 100,000 is already too much for us. So um, we have nearly 1 million Brazilians living in Portugal nowadays. It's big. It's big. It's a, it's, a, it's a massive number. Now, last year we spoke here a lot about interest rates and inflation. Today, I don't hear much about that. I we done with inflation? Are we okay for the interest rate? Is it going to go down? Absolutely. How do you feel about that? Um, well, I think it was very interesting because when we, we speak each other in, in September in Paris, uh, where at the time still the ECB was saying that they yeah. are going to raise 
uh, uh, interest rates. The keynote speaker made a very, very good presentation saying that ECB is running after the situation and so they're going to, to go down with the interest rates in 2024 very quickly due to the recession risk. Um, and every time that I heard a new news about inflation going down, and interest rates going down, a river going down, I remember the guy in September what he, he says. Now we are facing this issue regarding not only the, the risk of the two wars, but also this new thing about the channel that may bring back a little bit inflation. So with the normal situation, yes, it's supposed to be situation, uh, inflation controlled. And we are expecting inflation to go down and interest rates to go down. So the river fall down more than 1% over the last four months and is expected to fall down more than 1% until the end of the year. So, and even yesterday, um, ECB chairman already says that probably in summer they are starting to, to go down with interest rates, where three months ago she says that was impossible. Yes. So, you know, we know politicians. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Pedro, thank you very much for your time, your conversation. Gustavo, my, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.